Hi guys! We had a very scary and frightening and exciting Christmas day, which I'm just going to tell you about. What we did yesterday was we decided about lunchtime to go for a walk along a lavada. Well, in fact, what we decided to do was to go and find the start of a lavada because it was pouring with rain <laughs> and we had no intentions of actually doing one. But we found the start of a Levada and there was a bus stop and we decided to stop and look at our guidebook to find out which Levada we were on. Now a Levada is a drainage channel that takes the water down from the mountains for irrigation. And the channels are about a foot and a half across and probably a couple of feet deep, um, maybe not that deep. And at the side of them is a maintenance path, they're about three feet wide, but then as it goes up the mountain it gets narrower and narrower and it can go right down to about a foot wide. And at the side of these things, because you're up a mountain, is like a drop, sheer cliffs of hundreds of feet and it's really quite frightening <laughs> for people like me who just don't like heights, I spent a lot of time not looking, <laughs> just looking at the path. <laughs> and then we'd find a wider bit and we'd sit and look and take some photos and things. But because the weather's been so severe and so wet here, uh, there's been a lot of landslides all over the place, including on the Levadas. But when we got to the bus, bus stop and decided to look in our guidebook to find out which one we were on we there was a, a guy sitting beside us and we were speaking to him and he was saying oh it's a good Levada and um, I've done it twice he says it's two and a half miles in two and a half miles out but we actually think he meant two and a half hours in and two and a half hours out because we weren't hanging around and we were it was something like six o'clock before we got back <laughs> Anyway, his wife was on the trail, but because he'd done it before, he wasn't interested in doing it again. But she was with friends, and so they were doing doing the trail again. And we met them on the path. And she said that they'd actually not reached the end, they'd turned back. But she'd spoken to somebody else, and they thought it was a doable walk. So we decided to carry on. There was another couple behind us, and... We walked and we came across all these landslides and trees and uh, I got in quite a mess because there's a lot of hanging brambles and things and I was wearing shorts of all things so my legs are just ripped to shreds. But it was all very interesting, you know, it was different, um, a bit scary, so nice and exciting. <laughs> and we'd been walking for a couple of hours and we came round this, this bend in the cliff and we looked across the valley and there was a sheer cliff and there was this landslide, a mudslide, and it had totally obliterated the path. So at that time we decided we were going to walk till half past three and no matter how far along we were, we were turning back then because we didn't want to be walking in the dark or anything. Executive decision. That is beyond reasonable. We weren't going to take that chance. There's just been so much water and, you know, one wrong step and the whole lot could go, so we just weren't going to do it. So we stopped and we had our lunch. Hi folks, Christmas Day, 2009, Christmas lunch. <laughs> the couple that were behind us, they caught up with us and we had a few words with them and they'd also seen the landslide from the other side and decided they weren't going to do it either. So we headed off and they stopped for a minute and we were walking along and we came round a bend and the path was gone. It was hidden by this enormous eucalyptus tree. So my, hus my husband decided that he was going to cross it and, well, we had to cross it because, you know, we couldn't stay on the mountain. We've hit a bit of a problem. This wasn't here when we came along. Bloody hell, hey, hey. We could have been walking under that when it happened. Sorry, excuse my language. Goodness. How are we going to get through it? Oh my god! 
That's a bit frightening, Alan. This is a bit frightening. It was very scary. You could feel it moving at times, and if it went, that was it. If we were gone too. There was no two ways about it. We just got to the other side, and we're, we can hear shouting. And this must have been about, it must have taken away about 10 yards of the path, or covered about 10 yards of the path. And they were shouting, is this new? And we're saying yes. And to think that we could have been walking underneath that when it came down, oh, it doesn't bear thinking about it, honestly doesn't. That was a really huge tree. Keep in more if you can. Right up there. You're right at the edge there. Oh, we are Maybe. so lucky. We could have been walking when that came down. You were on this side or on this side? And you could actually see the tree move at one point when he was crossing it, or one of the trees move. It was so frightening. I've got a cracker of a bruise on my arm where I, I sort of jumped onto the path at the end and a, a branch, a broken branch, stabbed into my arm. But it is just a bruise, <laughs> so it's, it's all right. You know, that's the worst. I've got a few scratches and a bruise. That's I'm here to tell the tale and that's that's it, you know. So we were speaking to um, the people that we've rented the house from and they said not to do the Levadas just now because the weather's been so unusual, they just don't get so much rain as a rule and they've had about two weeks of it. So we're going to avoid them for the next few days, but it looks like the weather's picking up, so hopefully we will get to do some again. We'll maybe do some that are more commonly travelled and they might be better maintained but very scary very frightening very exciting not anything that i want to repeat in a hurry <laughs> but uh, a very memorable christmas day so i hope your christmas day was as memorable not as frightening <laughs> and uh, see you bye but the video is Yeah, still as well. Yeah, but it's not showing that I'll try another one.